You can call me stupid yes, You can call me sheep You can say I lay a You can say I weep Mahogany Green Sing I would get to me And if you're right then you're in trouble D Cause I won't break no I know I won't wait Chandler Burbank You're in trouble D So for the first drill, we're going to start to warm up. We're going to do a drill, we call it dynamic drill. It's racket fed and it's going to be a four ball exercise. You all are going to be switching out. So if I have Alvin come over here, Alvin's going to be our approacher. Chandler, you're going to come over here. So this is how the drill is going to go. Alvin's going to come in and she's going to move forward and she's going to hit the pro shot. So she's going to come into net. So Alvin, come on in. After she hits the approach shot, Chandler's going to come over and she's going to come and she's going to poach and cross the court. Since she crossed the court, Ali is going to have to come over here. She will cover. She'll hit the next volley. And Chandler, you're going to finish with an overhand. Okay? So let's do a quick demonstration of that. Um, shadow fed. And then the next. So she's going to come in net. Up. She's going to hit the approach. Chandler, you're going to cross over. She's going to hit the approach. Ali, she crosses. And then Chandler, you're going to overhand. Okay? After you finish, you're going to exit out and you're going to enter the other line. And then you're going to do Okay, so today we're going to go through a little bit of doubles uh, drills. The first one's going to be for poaching. I place markers on the court. There's a green, yellow, red. I call this the traffic light. And it's to help knowing how the net player needs to move in the court, movement with and without the ball, uh, and knowing when is the right moment to poach. Okay? So, Mahogany is going to start on the baseline. Chandler's at the net. And let's say the ball is in my side. So I'm here and I'm the first person hitting the ball. Right? I'm the first person who's going to get a hit on the ball. Mahogany just hit it. I'm going to hit a ground stroke. Who's in the position, girls? Who is in position to get the poach first? If I'm hitting the ball right now, who's going to be able to hit the ball first? Chandler. So Chandler, once you're in a position where you can attack the ball first, Chandler should be more in the yellow area. Right, she's in her neutral spot. So now she's in a spot where she can attack it. Okay? So once she's in a neutral spot, now she's looking in to see if she can maybe execute a pose. She's going to be trying to get into the green dot. That doesn't mean that it necessarily is going to happen. I might be able to hit a good cross court, right? And she can't really have a play on it. So it not necessarily means that she's going to be able to poach. It's just that she's going to get into the right positioning to poach. Okay? Now here's how the game becomes into a dance. Okay? So, and Mahogany is hitting the ball. So I'm going to be looking into poach. Now, if Mahogany doesn't do a good, good job with a cross court, I can attack this ball, and I probably will hit it at Chandler, at the net player, right? If I want to finish the point, or if I see her spread out, I can maybe do an angle or something. However, let's say I can't get to it. I'm going to get a good cross court. What do I do now? Because I can't stay here. And if I go back here, what happens now? If Chandler is able to poach, and I'm in a top spot. So I need to go back and get into my, more or less around here, closer to the middle so I can, 
I can defend this position, okay? Obviously, if thing happens again, I go back here, I try to pose, and this is how it becomes a dance. So you go back here, you can, you go, I could have pose, I go back, stuff like that. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna have two players hitting cross courts. I'm gonna have two players trying to coach. If you have your option to coach, coach. If girls, if you see them going too early and you got the, the alley open, you can't punish them down the alley. That doesn't mean that you can't go down the alley, but you're mainly trying to go cross court. Okay, we'll get started. Woo, woo! Can you guys mess up the worry? I wanna get in the best part. Yeah. Yes, good. Good. That's it. That's it, Chandler. Good job. Yeah, but see, see, you were you were in right position there. Yep. Yep. Excellent. 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 Yep. Now we're adding the competition element to the third drill and we call this one beach tennis. It's really simple and a lot of fun. The only rule in the game is that the ball is not allowed to bounce. If it does, the point is over and we move on to the next one. For this drill, we played games to 10. This drill is great for reaction volleys and if you look close, the girls are forced to close the net or they really don't have as many opportunities to finish the point. Oh, they're picking on Alex. They're picking on Alex. Hey, nine, eight. Yeah, this 10. Mercy 10, yeah. Good, Alex. Yeah. You're coming back. You're coming back. Oh, that's nice. That was. That is. That was a big volley. Big volley right there. Seven, seven. That's nice. The last exercise is called two on two. We use this game as a reward for our players at the end of a tough day and they really seem to enjoy it. The game is played like this. The players are trying to get to six points. When one team gets to six, they have to back up to the baseline and defend an overhead. If they're successful, then they win the game. If not, and the score is evened up, then everyone comes back to net. Whoever wins the next point backs up to the baseline to defend the next overhead. The game doesn't finish until the baseline team can successfully Ooh. do this. Also, if you notice, I wasn't being very nice with the feeds. We try and make it challenging so that the players have to improvise and make the ball.
right, so thank you everybody for watching the video. We went over doubles. We went over a dynamic warm-up drill. Um, we worked on some poaching. We did beach tennis, and then we finished with the fun game two-on-two. Two. I want to thank the girls for coming out and helping us out. We'll see you all next time. Ciao! Ciao.